Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you uh, or discuss with you exactly what, what do I mean by the absolute value. When we're looking at absolute value, I think one of the easiest and most basic ways to describe it is looking into distance like on a number line. But first of all, let's kind of go into what exactly is absolute value. Well, absolute value is these kind of two straight little bars that kind of look like brackets or parentheses, but they're just going to be straight down. So um, basically what we're doing when we're talking about absolute value is kind of like absolute distance. And let's say you have a house here at zero, okay? And let's say here's west and here's east, okay? So let's say you and a friend are both walking away from your house, right? And you walk at the same rate, um, and but you, uh, so, well, you're walking to your store. Well, let's see, I don't know. I'm trying to make up a story. Um, so there is your home, all right? And actually, let's just say, you have two other friends that are coming to visit you. They're both three miles away. One is three miles away from the west, and one is three miles away from the east. Now, the absolute distance it's going to take for them both to walk to your house is what? Three miles, right? They both have to walk three miles. Now, when we look at a you know, line or even you know, on a graph, a lot of times you see, you know, to the right, well, that's positive three miles and that's negative three miles. Well, yes, when we're looking at, like, as far as direction, that's a, uh, a great example. But we're not looking at direction when we're talking about absolute value. We're just looking at the absolute distance. What is the distance that both of them would have to travel? So therefore, we'd say absolute value of negative three is three. And the absolute value of three is equal to three. So anytime we're looking, anytime we're taking the absolute value, um, what we want to make sure is we understand is that there's going to be two cases. All right? We have the case where inside the absolute value is negative, and we also have the case where um, inside the absolute value uh, it's going to be positive. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is just kind of your basic uh, concept of understanding for the absolute value signs.